Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of my Cottagecore Minecraft survival series on YouTube. Hi, how is everyone doing? In the last episode, we built up this beautiful enchanting cave, but I realized we forgot something. We can use an armor stand to display our old armor, and now it looks even cooler in here. In this episode, I have a couple of things that I want to get done, but the first thing I want to try to do is I want to try to make a sword with looting on it. And I have just enough levels to try to make that happen. Let's grab some lapis. And... Oh. Not, not bad as far as swords go, but not what we want. Moving on. In today's episode, we are going to be working on setting up an automatic cactus farm. Why a cactus farm, you ask? Well, I'm going to be needing some dye, and also I figured it could be a good source of XP if we smelt some cactus up in our base. Honestly, I'm just not 100% sure where I want to put this thing. I don't necessarily want to build an extra building for it outside. So I had the idea of kind of making a hallway here near the bedroom upstairs. A small edit to the staircase should leave us enough room for a 2x2 two two right here. We're not going to know until we try it. We can always put it back if we don't like it. So let's just see what we got going on. How, how do we like that? I'm going to go mine this out and then we'll see what kind of space we have left over to work with. Let's go. First, I focused on expanding the little hallway that we made and potentially adding some room for later farms as well. Then it was time to actually move on to the cactus farm room. The cactus farm itself is 11 by 11 in design, so I tried to make the room a little bit bigger to accommodate extra space on the sides with enough room to walk around the cactus farm, of course. And while I was mining, of course, I had to pick up all of the coal and all of the copper as well from all of the different areas and fill those holes back in. I want to start building the room, but I'm actually pretty low on resources, so for now it's time to collect some wood and some granite. I want to keep these rooms that are upstairs similar to the downstairs in theme and materials. So that means we're going to need so much birch, oak, and granite. I still really need to do a mining entrance here with a staircase because every single time I run into this spot where I start hitting my head and it's just annoying me so much. Why haven't I done this already? It's episode five. These double polished granite slabs are going to be perfect for keeping the floor upstairs similar to the one downstairs. And I think that's what we're going to start with up here is just immediately putting the floor in. This is right above the chest as well downstairs. So I accidentally broke our lantern, but we can just set that back. There we go. And now back to placing the floor. I really love all of the colors that are in this floor. They are so warm and cozy and they just feel like home. I think in the future, I'd love to use these bricks as a foundation for a building out in the flower forest somewhere that we end up working on. Maybe for our villagers at some point, we can build them like a cozy brownstone townhome type village inside the flower forest. Now that would be something interesting to see. For now, I'm going to try to focus on one project at a time. I have so many ideas for this world and they all always want to come out at the same time. But that'll be another point in this episode a little bit later on. We're going to make something to keep track of all of our projects. Also, let's throw down some torches, make sure no bad guys spawn. So what I really want to focus on here is getting the design of this room down. This is a somewhat smaller space than I'm used to working with, especially given that we can't expand anymore in one direction. So I'm going to have to be a little bit creative here. And I'm just going to start that by trying to make one wall look okay. Once we get one wall, then we can kind of focus on the other ones. And I'm still following the same pattern that I followed downstairs with the oak, the granite, and the birch. And now that I'm actually voicing this episode over, I just wanted to apologize about how long this episode took to come out. Truthfully, it was a combination of three things. I was a little ill at the beginning of this month, still left over from last month and trying to recover. And of course, February was the month for the one shot SMP. On top of that, I also launched my community SMP for my discord. So all in all, February has been an extremely busy month for me. I don't want to draw out this apology any more than it should be, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for still sticking around and still watching the videos, even though I've been gone for a little bit. So yeah, thank you very, very much and my humblest apologies. But back to the building, can we agree that this is the ultimate way to place these slabs and I don't know why I wasn't doing it earlier? 
Now this room is a little bit awkward to build in just because I couldn't really go any further because on the other side of one of the walls is the bedroom. I'm gonna do my best here to create the same vibe in this room as you have in the rest of the house, you know, in this limited amount of space. It was at this moment that I realized that I did not plan out anywhere for the lights to go, so I thought about putting inset lighting into the walls. And at first I didn't know if I was gonna like it, but then once I actually put it into the bigger walls, I realized that I liked it a lot. This beam here is going to be in the back side of the room, and what I'm going to do with this is add an area for potential farm expansion. So this will be another doorway into a potential new room in the future where we can add more farms. I'm thinking something similar, another auto farm, possibly sugarcane or melon and pumpkin, those kinds of farms. But for now, I'm just going to seal it with granite. I think more than anything, I want to use this video as kind of a thought dump on what goes through my head while I'm building something and hopefully get a little bit more confident in what I'm doing so I can explain better in the future. At this point in the video, I was a little bit sick of seeing this birch texture. So I think for the collection room for the cactus, we can use a different block that is similar and that will also look good. And I really don't want a mini mob farm happening while I'm back here. So some more lighting was definitely needed. At this point, I went and counted how many spaces we would need for the cactus farm and laid out a basic outline. I introduced a new block here, which is this cut copper unoxidized. And I thought it was really cool. I just didn't want to do any more out of granite, but I didn't want it to be too wildly different, still very warm tone for this farm also apologies about the game audio i don't know what happened but it was like really really buggy so instead of having game audio you just have me right now moving on i used a tutorial for this farm and i'm gonna post the link in the description it was really really easy i thought it was actually gonna be much harder and this farm actually produces quite a bit of cactus over time as you're just chilling in your base and i really thought that that was gonna be super helpful for upcoming projects and while i was filling my water ew gotta fix that now i know the question is going to be but frog what are you going to be using so much cactus for green dye is going to be so useful for us in the upcoming projects that i have especially to make green glass but also to make concrete powder i have a couple of ideas that are going to be coming up in the next couple of episodes that we're going to be working on together and while I don't want to give too much about those builds and those projects away now, I do want to say that I think that having this much cactus on hand will be helpful. When the glass barrier was done, then it was time to start the collection area. Earlier, I mined a little bit of a line here and I wasn't sure how far away it was. So I tried to count some spaces here to see if I could find it and finally did. From there, I just tried to expand the room so it could look really, really nice and aesthetic so we could collect a lot of cactus in a very pretty room. And once again, don't forget to light up because we are in survival. This room will be a little bit different than the pattern upstairs with the oak beams and the other materials that are in the room. And can we talk about how constantly in this episode, I just keep placing the oak logs the wrong way before I strip them? I just, I'm doing it constantly. Anyways, then it was time to place some ladders so we can climb in and out of our new little collection room very easily. While I was mining out the area, we created this little spot that needed some fixing in the ceiling. And to add some interest underneath the chest, I'm going to match up that copper block. I didn't really know what kind of pattern to go for in here. I wasn't going for anything in particular in terms of how I would set up the different beams and the calcite here but at the end of it all i really liked how this area turned out it's really cool and here i had to mine out some more space to add a floor and instead of going for the double granite floor i just thought about alternating polished and regular granite there and this wall here is an odd size so i was trying to fit in where i would put beams and lights and finally settled on something that went like this and i think it came out cute this wall was also kind of another problem wall because of the odd size so i thought i was going to add just some lighting in the middle there however because of the odd size it kind of looked weird so i thought about the idea of a built-in shelf and i grabbed a flower pot from downstairs and tried to put a cactus in there because i thought that really went well together but the cactus really had no room to grow so i thought maybe we could make this a little bit more open and then i had the idea that maybe the calcite was a little bit awkward looking so at the end of it, I decided on some stripped oak here just to match the rest of the room. And now it looks a lot better. After that, I added the rest of the beams to the room and messed up the beams every single time I tried to place one before I stripped them. After that, it was time for some basic decorations. So I thought about a hanging plant over here and then adding some composter planters. And then I realized I had no composters in my inventory. So I had to go up and make some. 
Then when I came back down, I added the composters, but I didn't really like that one that I placed underneath the hanging plant. And I really love how that room came out. It looks so different than the stone box we started with. And now it's time to fix up this hallway. I'm gonna quickly take care of this off camera so that way we don't have like a 45 minute build video. And I will see you guys in a moment. All right, so I'm done. And the first thing I have to say is that I had to move a lot of staircase and now my villagers are kind of even more cramped in here. So I think in the next episode, it might be time to make them their own house. But after I fixed everything up, the hallway is done. On the left side, as you know, we have this beautiful cactus farm and it has been producing a lot. And here I left another spot for us to potentially expand later. Quickly skipping over this, I just really like how this area came out with the seating and the plants. But now this is another room that I last minute decided to add. But the purpose of this room is going to be very, very important. In almost all of my worlds, I add a general to-do list, whether it's a to-do board or a room where I place signs, and that helps me keep track of all the progress that I wanna make in the world. This side is for the general building tasks that we need to do. And like we said earlier, we're gonna build my villagers their own space somewhere else outside of my staircase. Also, I forgot to color code these, so I'm gonna add the dye and the glow ink really, really quickly. I just like to keep everything, you know, different colors so that I can see it easier. Now, the next task that I think I wanna add on to this is to add some custom, custom trees around the general forest area. On the farm project side, I would love to create an automatic honeycomb farm. So that way we can have some more honeycomb to build with. And I also think that at some point we need to build a villager breeder. We also just need in general a better way to make emeralds. Right now I'm currently trading glass and it's annoying. After that I would really love to name the flower forest. I think we're missing a name for our area and it would be really cool if we named it. And then I still would like to get a looting sword because we still have not managed to get one this episode. I love having these tasks written out, but I think that they're still missing a little bit of glowing. So let's add that here. Now a little bit easier to look at. Honestly, I feel way more productive when I have little signs in my world telling me what to do or I leave notes for myself. And this is one really cool way that YouTube can get involved as well because you guys can give me ideas for buildings or different projects to work on. I really, really love this. One other thing we need to do quickly is name our parrot. And I just want to say thank you so much to Leah for your kind comment and the name Cinnamon for the parrot. It really, really is so cute. And now we get to move Cinnamon to their new home. Cinnamon, I think you're going to love this new area. It is so natural and beautiful, and you are going to be here to give us good enchanting luck. Well, if I can get you to get, get up, get in there, Cinnamon, get up there, get, there we go. We do have enough levels to try to get looting again and maybe get something else knocked off our list. So let's try, ah, you know, unfortunate. Unfortunately though, that is all I have time for today. And like I said earlier, I'm really, really sorry about how long this episode took to come out. It has been a, such a busy and wild month for me. And I hope you guys have had the most wonderful February. Also, just a little bit of further news for me. For the first two weeks of March, I will be gone uh, from the internet for a little bit because my sister is coming to visit me from the United States. It'll be the first time I've seen a family member of mine in two years and i'm very very excited so videos will be on pause so will streams and that is a lot of cactus wow we got so much i love that but anyways i just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with me and be transparent with you i am not abandoning this series i'm definitely going to still be making it but the break is coming up and i'm really really excited about it i'm really excited to see my sister and do some things here in the netherlands that i haven't been able to do yet so thank you guys so much once again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye.